Hello there, everyone. Um, I'm back again today. You know what? That's awfully loud. Um, we'll turn that down a bit. Um, since I got my new computer, all of my GTA saves did not transfer, which is kind of frustrating. But I got my mansion back now, and I'm gonna do some bit of some bit of exploring. Nice, a bit of exploring in it. First of all, this is the outside. I have my own personal gang. Something like that. I never authorized these guys to be here. Well, he's rather trapped. Infinite source of money is you can actually shoot into them. If you want. Because they won't fight back. The other ones will just run away if they survive. And they'll drop money sometimes and weapons. So, that's a way to get infinite money and weapons. And out front here, I have access to two, sometimes three, randomized cars. We have the beautiful sports car here, which I can drive around at will, infinite times. I'm not going to throw it into there right now, I don't think. If we go around back here, we've got a nice little staircase here, leading up. Okay, those guys spew random dialogue sometimes. Interesting. We've got two pools here. And a nice path that goes... I'm not sure which where it goes that way. Um, oh, I guess it's just the edge of the thing. Okay. Haven't explored that way before. But, what is this? I didn't even... Wow, okay. That's interesting. Never would have thought... <laughs> never would have thought of looking there for a hidden package. But anyway, we go around here, and we have kind of, you know, these light, nice little tropical trees here. And all of this beautiful plant life. And more pools. Yeah, we've got quite a bit of pools here. What are you doing here, miss? I don't like you. That was rather mean of me. Okay, I actually feel kind of bad now. And then we have the nice little pool with a roof over it just in case it's raining. But, if it is raining, I don't know why you would care about going in a pool anyway, though. If you're going in a pool, you might as well be outside in the rain. And yeah, if you go over here, it's just kind of the same thing. That way, it'll just lead back around. Except, there is a maze, but we'll get to that later on. The maze is very fun to explore. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Pool here. If you go this way, it'll just take you up to the maze, but like I said, we'll get there another way. If we go up this way... There we go, we are now in the Versetti Estate. Beautiful. Over here is just kind of like a little weird box area without any doors or anything, as far as I can tell. I'm not exactly sure what the point of it is. I guess you could have just put a wall there. Except, I'm not even really sure the reasoning there. You can get health, armor, and a shotgun. Well, I got the shotgun already. And an assault rifle from in here. I hate that woman. Did he just say he hated a woman? Mean. Whoa! Okay, well that rather startled me. They're all here and the lighting makes them look like zombies. Can, can you please let me through? Oh, there we go. I was about to shoot them. There's a mission indicator here, but I'm not going to do that right now. And by the way, I have beat Vice City on my other computer. Just like every time I beat it, I like to start a new game. <laughs> now if we run in here, this is my office. We have street clothes there. I'll put them on even though I already have them on. Here's my nice little security set to play Five Nights at Freddy's, except I hate that game. So you cannot expect me to play that. Yeah, I love my office. The save thing here. I'll run and do that later on to make sure that I get that hidden package in. Cool. If we go up the stairs here, the roof is open. Rather interesting. I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> yeah, you can see it. But up here it has a roof. I'm not really sure what that's all about. 
Yeah, and it just goes right from, you know, all of this standardized outside to that really fancy Victorian inside. And normally there's a lot more gang members out here. I don't know what's up with that. I think I'll shoot the explosive barrels just for fun. It's fun to see him jump. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's get the other ones. That's so fun. Okay. And helicopter. Ooh, get out of that song. Let's go to Flash FM. Oh, I like this song. Okay. But now if we go over here, you can see there's the maze under me, if you can see that. Um... Tell you what, I'm gonna fly back this way. I love flying helicopters in this game. Alright, let's go. There we go. I love the Demolition Man mission. It's really hard. The first time I played it, I could not figure out the controls at all. And I had a very hard time with that. But after that, and once I figured it out, I could beat it in one try every time. Now this is the maze. It's a pretty basic maze. You can't really get lost in it that easily. And what's that over there? It looks kind of like a sniper rifle. Let's go check it out. You can actually kind of cheat at the maze and jump onto these. It's okay if you take damage, because if you remember, we have the health and armor back in there. Jump down here some more. And yes, it is a sniper rifle. Yeah, I'll just pick it up here. Beautiful! That's a way to get infinite sniper rifle ammo. And you can get infinite assault and shotgun ammo in there. And health and armor, which is pretty nice. And now, let's see if we can get out of this maze. And if you ever get kind of lost, you can kind of look up like that and see kind of a general idea of where you are in the maze. I think I might just kill some of these gang members to show it off. It is kind of fun. What weapon to use, though? Let's use a grenade. Effective. It kills a lot of them. I'll grab the pistol there. Yeah, infinite money and weapon source. And, um, since you have the clothes in the Versetti Estate, you can get out of a wanted level when you need to. Alright. And the gang members spawn back pretty fast, because they like hanging around you. Now it looks like I have a limo. I'm not complaining. I don't think I'm going to destroy it either. Limo's not an amazing car, but... Well, in the game, at least. In real life, limos are pretty awesome. But... <laughs> that's, just, that's just kind of interesting. The car is kind of randomized, like I said. Has the armor regenerated back yet? I don't think so, because I took it kind of recently. Hey, it has regenerated back. Grab the shotgun ammo, too. Alright. I... Uh, get out of my damn way. Okay, you know what? I have a shotgun. Yeah, like I said, they more... You fake in your death. You can... The thing is, is sometimes they will try to do that. They'll try to fake their deaths. So... You won't kill them. And you can see when they're faking their deaths. Because, like, they'll... They won't... Like, you can just walk through dead bodies, which is kind of weird. But if they're not dead, you won't be able to walk through them. Kind of interesting. And, um, an infinite source of money, which I like to point out sometimes, um, I haven't gotten that far yet, because I've only been playing this game for, like, two hours on my new computer. Already got the, the mansion, yes! But, um, right about here, right in front of your mansion, um, when you complete a certain amount, you will be get you will be given protection money, which is really nice. So... And it goes up kind of slowly, but if you remember, 
in the beginning of the game, it tells you that when you hit the save spot, it skips the time by six hours, and by then the money level will have grown a decent amount. So that's a way to get, well, an unlimited source of money. Well, it is anyway, but it takes a little while. Ooh, we got a pretty plane flying there. Wow, okay, I'm gonna get closer to that. For some reason, I just love Vice City at nighttime. Especially when I'm running around my mansion like a pimp. <laughs> the moon. I kind of want to show the moon Easter egg. I will once I'm done staring at this plane. <laughs> oh, man. If I shot it, you'd get, you know, like, explosive decompression. I think at this range it wouldn't matter, though. But yeah, you see the moon? It's kind of behind the cloud there. But if you shoot it, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and smaller. That's an Easter egg in um, most of the GTA games. Um, not all, but most of them. When you shoot the moon, it changes size. It only works with the sniper rifle, though. You can't do it with you know, a pistol, shotgun, I'm just firing bullets off because it's so fun. This couldn't have been a very tricky easter egg to find, but kinda neat. I'm gonna see if I have the sniper rifle back in the maze. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a while since, well, I skipped ahead with six hours since I got it last, so we'll see if it's there or not. Um... I think it's this way. There we go. Nailed it. I haven't completely memorized the maze, but I know the general direction of where I need to go. I don't think I'm heading to a dead end here. Maybe I am. Nope. And we are out of here. More pools. Beautiful. Over here, I believe it's in this one, we can find the katana, which will replace this chainsaw, right in here. Yes, just like that. See, I, I don't know why, but I just remember the placing of this katana really well. I'm just really good at remembering some of those... Hey, son. I'm getting sun in my face. Actually, that looks really nice. I like Tommy's outline in the sun. I think it works really well with the scenery. That's part of why I... I that's why this is one of my favorite Grand Theft Auto games. It's because it's just... This is a 2002 game, so it came out when I was pretty darn little. But you can see just... I love the lighting effects. You see kind of like the rays going down on the screen here. Pretty interesting stuff, if I do say so myself. I'm just, you know, freaking out over the sun here. Um, I pretty much explored the mansion. Let's cause some carnage, I think. You know what? I'm even... Oh, wait, this isn't a police officer. I don't think this is one of the legit... Okay, yeah, it might be one of the legit police officers. There... Maybe not? Um... Okay, I don't... I can't tell. Sometimes, you know, fake police officers will walk around. Okay, yeah, he wasn't a real one. It's weird how that happens. Bye, lady. I'm gonna see how high I can get my wanted level in. You know what? I might try using the original controls. Oh! Yeah, when you attack a police officer, you automatically get two stars. Let me just, um, set my controls here up. Uh, standard classic controls. Yes, indeed. The interesting thing about classic controls is you can't free look around. It kind of goes like this. Ooh, let me zoom the... Uh, there we go. There we go. Good camera angle. And what you can do is, um, if you right-click... Where is someone? There we go. Yeah, it'll zoom in on them kind of like this. The only thing is once that you're, they're dead, you'll still be shooting at them and it won't change targets. Which I don't think is too and that very good, but it's pretty interesting. 
I remember the first time I tried, you know, using the classic controls, I was like, what the hell is this? But you can still free look with the um, M16 slash M4. Some people think it's the M16, some people think it's the M4. Okay, I'm going to die here. Let's run. Oh shit, they're on to me. Let's go. I'm not, I, I don't, I haven't really actually been able to tell if I like the classic controls or not, to be honest. That's another thing, is like, with this, I can't look around as much as I wish I could have. Okay, we've got the white smoke on this now. I think it will be dead soon. Ah, uh, die. Duh, ow. Okay, well that hurt. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna run back into the mansion. I'm just gonna stay out here with the resources that I have. And I'll need to survive like that. We're at five stars, and I think that we will be able to make to make it, I think that we'll be able to survive. I'm not gonna go into the mansion. I'm not gonna go into the mansion. Where is the Oh, there he is. I do love the auto aim though. I think that's kinda fun. It's easier, just not as reliable, I'd say. Okay, where are these... There we go. Come on. Come on! I'm having a... I'm having kind of a hard time killing those guys. Okay, um, I didn't even realize how low I was on health here. That's interesting. Let's make our daring escape, shall we? Throw on Flash FM here. I went the wrong way. I can't even see, like, any anything around me now. Awesome, Michael Jackson. Oh, shit, okay. You know what? It's on. It is on. I don't care if I die, I'm going to freaking survive. Okay, never mind. Didn't quite get to six stars. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, this has been interesting. I can't remember if I saved or not. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Um, whatever. Uh, whoa! Oh, there, buddy. Let's get back to the mansion here. Where is the map at? Here, here, here. Okay, north, and then next, next um, turn that we can make. Oh, no, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, the mansion. Okay, okay. Getting a little bit disorientated there. I don't recognize this song. Well, I accidentally ran over someone. That was an accident, I swear. I didn't do it, cops. Well, I did, but I didn't mean to. I guess I'm running, though, and that's a crime enough. Yeah, I don't recognize this song. Yeah, throw the radio off. He was on wave 103, so it couldn't have been that bad. Flash. I don't know why I love Flash FM that much. I'm taking off these classic controls, man. Oh, yeah, and I can't even use the... I can't use the mouse when I set it to classic, which is kind of weird. I need to hover it over and use the enter key, which confuses the heck out of me sometimes. Uh, I want my weapons back. I can't get exactly the weapon set that I had, though. Uh -huh.
I like to enter it in a few times, so I have. Oh, so I have um, enough ammo for whatever I choose to do later on. Hello, you gang, gang members. <laughs> I didn't hit any of you. I didn't. I didn't want to though. You make me feel safe. That you know, if someone came in here and started shooting, I would be safe. That's foreshadowing the future, by the way. When we need them, they won't be here. For some unknown reason. Kind of want to. I won't. I won't. I'm better than that. Well, I'm not, but... Yeah. We've got all the beautiful money here. So beautiful. Spilling out of the safe here. The interesting statue there. That is rather interesting. I think it's... Um, the graphics in this game aren't good enough for me to need to censor this video. Interesting, though. You know, Tommy, I'd take some of this money off your hands, if you need it. Whatever. Interesting candle setup. Here we go this way. The middle one is almost invisible. Step to the side. Ah, we can see it just fine. Actually, these are pretty nice ca graphic capabilities. I do love the amount of detail in this game. Like, specifically, the mansion. I love that fact. And if you see here... It's Diaz. The only thing is, we messed him up. Another guy got messed up. <laughs> oh, that's amusing. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. And some of these are scratched up because, yeah, we stole the mansion from someone. Which is why some... Some of them aren't messed up, like that one, that one's not messed up, but this one kind of is, and everything's tilted and stuff. I, this this cracks me up, though, every time I look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see the wall through that one. <laughs> okay, I'm ogling the paintings too much. Um, yeah, whatever. I guess I will see you guys next time.